purchase has been made, down payment's been made. We assessed the uh, value of our trade-ins. She got quite a bit for uh, her car. And I was actually more surprised at how much they were willing to offer for mine. So, cool. We, um, the car will be available in a week. We already had this one incoming, so we're getting something that was, um, was not in stock, but was already ordered for them to have in stock. So <laughs> we reduced our stock number by one. So we didn't have to order it at all. Which is great. <clears throat> we'll uh, have the vehicle in a week. Payment was uh, with our trade in. Payment was uh, down to a monthly basis, a little over 500 bucks a month. So, yeah, this is great. Yeah. We'll have uh, one vehicle between the two of us. Oh, I need to contact our insurance broker because I don't want to get back home. I also have to apparently contact um, Honda to get in paper, in writing from Honda, the, uh, uh, the buyout value of her vehicle and send that over to them at the Mazda. So, and we're, we're good. Excited. We're excited. This is good. This will be our first brand new vehicle. Well, owning a brand new vehicle, that curse is the least. And I made, it the point to, I made a point to telling her, you know, even though it worked out having leased her vehicle, normally it would not be this smooth. It would not have been to her advantage. If it wasn't for COVID, I guess we can thank COVID for this, uh, which has forced the production of microchips and a lot of essential parts for vehicles to the, forcing the production to be lowered which then forced production of new vehicles to be lowered, which then reduced inventory at all dealerships. They're not all pining for used vehicles. And it just so happened that her lease was coming up, you know, two years into, uh, into the pandemic. And because of that, it had worked to her advantage to bring that car in and we'll trade it up. But yeah, this is cool. We're going to have a new vehicle. It's going to fit all of us. There's not too many of these guys on the road, so insurance shouldn't be uh, too high up. I'm going to be handling that. Only thing is, I'm just going to have to figure out how to mount, uh, mount my dash cam on there. I am taking this off. I'm going to transfer it over there. I, I, I'm not sure if I'll take off the one on her car. I, I probably will and maybe put that one in my mom's car. That way uh, I can put uh, a dual dash on uh, my mom's vehicle. I don't know what the kids' reactions will be. Let's have a look. Hi, I don't like this one. Oh, oh, but I have hot candy. Right, sit down. Close the door, please. Not the door there. Hey, you're filming? I didn't know you're filming. Because, sit down. Close the door. No. Close the door. Close the door. Sit down. Sit down. Daddy's got some news to tell you. Depends how you guys take it. Yeah. Also, did they just tell us? Hi, Daddy. We put down money for a new car. Hi. What? What? That's awesome. That's not exciting. So, yeah, Mommy and I are going to get a new car. Today? Not today. We just bought, put money down. The, the car's not here yet. It's not ready yet. <laughs> so, you're not excited or anything? Well, both cars, both this car and Mommy's car, they're, we're getting rid of it. So we can't do three cars between two of us. I'm eating my candy. I'm stretching. So we're doing one car between just the two of us. What are you stressing eating care. for? I don't think they care. You kept saying that you, 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 you wished the, 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 this car would still be around. I guess I was all talk. Okay, I guess you guys are like want to go right on the right for the new, the new car when it comes in. Find whatever I'm saying. Yay! I swear, I, I feel a little naked driving this car right now because I, I, I took the dash cam off. Well, if you haven't noticed, um, I'm still driving my old car. I did go into her today. I was actually expecting to go in with 
be either my mom's car or uh, a new vehicle. But uh, I, I guess it's not ready yet. So um, I'm just gonna drive by the dealership and see if it's there. Uh, yeah, these are used. It's a 30. Oh, that red is just like, oh. Uh, I wonder if it's this one. I don't know this guy. No, I think it's this one. Maybe it's this one. No, it's a turbo. Uh, I swear to God, that red is just... Uh, I saw a couple of cars that could have potentially have been it, but I, you know, I don't know. Uh, so, well, I, I guess we'll find out tomorrow, or maybe Tuesday. At least, um, I'm pretty sure I'll have Tuesday and uh, maybe even Wednesday available to drop this guy off and the wife's vehicle as well. Oh, I gotta load up the, uh, I gotta load up the uh, the all season tires on here too, because uh, those are going with as well. This is now officially the last day for this vehicle. I, I've even got my winter tires loaded up to take over to the dealership because this is trade-in. Now here's the crazy thing though. I'll probably be driving that car, the new car, for regularly for a little bit. My wife is not um, too comfortable with driving a new vehicle why I picked one that was really easy to drive. She's a little worried because it's a bigger vehicle. Honestly, it's not that much bigger. I mean, it's, it's higher up. It's probably a little bit longer, but it's equally as wide. So it shouldn't be an issue, really. But now she's not comfortable with it. Well, you know, better for me. That way I don't have to rely on driving a car that guzzles gas at 17 liters per 100 kilometers. But one thing I am definitely not looking forward to is playing around with all the settings on that car because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a few things we want to disable like the heads up display I, I think I may want to disable that I find that's a bit of a distraction uh, when I was test driving I hear that the uh, the lane departure warnings are uh, they're quite annoying so I don't know if we can adjust the volume level or sensitivity I'm gonna have to go through the uh, the menu system for that. Just basic all around settings. I mean, have, have you ever done a fresh, firstly, have you ever built a computer and done a fresh install of Windows? It could be a bit of a pain because you've, you've got to find all the settings, you got you to you set everything for you personally, like how you want things to run, uh, and, and all that. It's, it, it, that's, that's, sometimes it's a lot to go through. I haven't set up a new computer in so long. So the plan tonight is I'm going to go home, I'm going to shower. Because my wife is also working still today. She's going to take an hour off around the time we got to pick up this car. So after we pick it up, when I'm going to drive her back to work, I'm probably going to stay there. There's I mean, really no sense in having to go back home for like maybe two hours before I gotta go back and pick her up again. So I'm thinking while I'm there, maybe I'll bring the dash cam and I'll start setting it up. And it'll be available then. Then uh, I guess I'll have dinner at, uh, at the mall too. Well, check out this rain. I feel like giving the car a nice wash before it goes off to the dealership. I will say I will actually miss this car a fair bit. It's the first car I've actually purchased on my own. I've had it for eight years. And 
you know, despite a couple of things, you know, it's been fairly good to me. Uh, the only problems I had was the um, the flood. This my light over here was flooding a little bit uh, because the uh, the drains for the uh, for the sunroof wasn't uh, drained properly. It was clogged up, and then I've changed the control arms. The only issue I have right now with it is the. Um, my rear, one of the brake rotors isn't actually properly. But I've taken this thing down to Boston twice uh, I've, with the family. We've also done a uh, road trip to, we've also like, you know, driven over to Niagara Falls like probably a good dozen times or so. So yeah, she, and this car has been very good to me and I hope whoever you know gets her next uh, she'll be just as uh, just as nice to them and it's been actually pretty decent and it's not been the greatest on gas considering the size of the vehicle but it's been pretty decent I, I, even on today's prices I'm only spending like a little more than 40 bucks for half a tank of gas and half a tank will last me uh, almost an entire week See, no dash cam. I keep missing all this. Well, I brought the dash cam with me. So I'm putting it in. Once I drive the missus back to uh, to work, I'm gonna stay there and I'm gonna install the freaking dash cam so I can go back to catching idiots like this again. And another thing I really liked about this car, and I never really, really got to appreciate it, is the sound system. It's got, it's got a nice Boston sound system on there. You've got those two speakers on a pull down on the um, on the on the uh, the hatch, and it's got two speakers on the side and the back. Plus these two down here. No tweeters on the side though, but that's fine. But I mean. was at level 20 I've I've never really put it up that high before <laughs> this was my first and my last time on this car one last look ah, my wife's not here yet though okay. What the hell? That happened with a lottery ticket. Alright, let's go check.